That's not how you do it, bro. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. That's really good. I do like that one. Welcome back to another daily video. My name is Joel from Roommate Official, and once again, one of my friends have betrayed me. So me and my ex-friend, Black Griffin, both do singing impression videos, and just a couple months ago, I did this video called One Guy 17 Voices. However, just the other day, now he released One Guy 18 Voices. Uh. He should come up with his own ideas. Anyway, today I thought that we would rank. We're gonna look at his impressions, contra my impressions, see who is the superior singing impressionist. I'm gonna need some apple juice for this one. <laughs> Don't worry, it's apple juice. Merch here. Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Brown, or Black Griffin. I was recently-ish challenged by Rumi Official to make a better impression video than him. But not only will I rise to your challenge, Rumi, I have made a shot-for-shot -shot remake of your video. Why? Make your own videos. <laughs> Plus one impression. That's right, I'm literally one-upping you. Let's get started. That's not a bad idea, actually, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna give him that one. One extra voice, okay, okay, anyway. Okay, compared to mine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the weekend to myself, and I'm gonna tell you why. Black Griffin has a tendency to sound like Maroon 5's Adam Levine up top. Adam Levine has a lot of twang up top, something that the weekend does not. The weekend has a lot more of a softer tone up there, you know, like what I was doing. Black Griffin also went for this kind of very open note up there, which the weekend would never do. On the never let you go, listen to this. And let's listen to actual the weekend for a second. So he's going, go. And what do I do? I do closer. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect, but <laughs> we got one me, zero Gabe. Let's keep going. I don't get it. It did like a weird forced falsetto flip. That's not how you do it, bro. Does mine sound better or not? I, I, I gotta actually double check. Yeah, me, my son's more like, eh. And what does she do? Does she sound like, meh? Or does she sound like, meh? It's closer to mine, I gotta say. It's more of an eh than it is, meh. <laughs> and I'm not biased in this at all, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself another point. Congratulations, Joel from Rumi Official. You're doing great. Gabe, not so much. Hey. It did my thing. That's actually not too bad. Okay, I guess that's kind of close. There's something weird about his voice in this way. It sounds like messed with or something. It sounds pitched down to me. I don't know what it is. It doesn't sound like something you do with your voice. I don't know about this one, Gabe. I'm gonna go by the benefit of the doubt, like with whatever you've done to your vocal here, fella. I'm gonna go ahead and say that yours was a little bit closer. That's one point for you, two points for me. No one can say I'm not fair. Let's move on to the next voice. She was born like a beauty queen from a movie scene. I said, oh my, but what do you mean? I am the one. Hmm, interesting. She was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. I said, oh my, but what do you mean? I am the one. I think we've nailed different parts of Michael Jackson's voice. Well, nailed. None of us nailed Michael Jackson. It's almost like no one can, but it's such a weird voice. In a good way. In a good way, okay? I said, oh my, but the I like his eye. That's really good. That's really close. But I think overall, tonality wise, I think I'm closer. Kind of said, said is kind of like that. Let's listen to his said. He went more, more for said, but it's more like said. Let's see what I did. I gotta give this one to myself. Sorry, Gabe, do better. So far, three for Joel, one little point for Gabe. He gets one little ounce of talent for every three ounces of talent of me. I can accept that. You so freaking precious when you smile. <laughs> yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like uh, Miranda sings or something. <laughs> 
lose myself up in those eyes. <laughs> some of that was good and some of it was just laughable. Let's see what I got. You so precious when you smile. <laughs> yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild. I know that song really well. I gotta say, I'm a lot closer. One of the main things I think Black Griffin got wrong on this one is just the tonality. I think Bozzy's voice is like a little bit higher. He needs to kind of, eh. and I think I nailed that a little bit better. Joel from Roman Fisher, you did good. You got four points. Gabe's got one little point. <laughs> He's looking at the viewfinder on the camera, like he's looking at his own reflection or like the picture of himself, like, yeah, I'm so hot. I feel like he really encapsulated that. I'm gonna give him a half a point for that. That is good acting. I'm gonna give him that. Okay, uh, Gabe, you're getting half a point right there. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know <laughs> that something wasn't right here? Wow, he went all the way with the makeup there, huh? <laughs> So I think my impression is more like beat to beat the same, like I do the little falsetto flip in the right place. But I feel like he nailed the Britney Spears tone better than me. That that sounds more like Britney Spears to me. I'm gonna give a full point to Gabe, which means I'll, I'll make this one a full point and he gets another half point right there. So right now the score is four points for me, two and a half for Gabe. He's doing a comeback. He's doing a comeback. Uh, some of them are That looks lip sync to me, guys. I'm pretty sure he can't do that whole thing without breathing. Honestly, let's just compare the audio. I'm gonna ignore that for now. It doesn't matter. I think none of us sounds a lot like Eminem. Actually, in my video the other day, the girl in the TikTok video sounded more like Eminem. I got Eminem more right than we do in this. However, he has half a point for, I'd say, doing a marginally better Eminem impression. So we got four for me, three for Gabe. Next one is Sean Paul, who actually challenged me in the other video. Now, Joel, I have a challenge for you, you know what I mean? Check that video out later if you want. Well, woman, the way the time cold, I wanna be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the star. Okay, so he's done a production trick here, I gotta say, which is that he's imitated the Sean Paul production, which is that he, he had a bunch of layered voices. I didn't do that because I wanted to show off, you know, my impression skills, you know, me, me doing the vocal. He's doing something else here. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Hold on, gotta get the right tactics to turn you on. And girl, I wanna be the papa, you can be the mom, oh oh. Let's compare that to mine. Well, I'm on the way to time, girl, I wanna be keeping you on. I think production wise, his is closer because he did the dub, but I think I nailed the voice better, which is what counts. Let's just take one little detail, for example, that I thought about with my video. Oh, so I think I say tactics instead of tactics, and I think Sean Paul does that as well. Let's check. Exactly. Is this tactics? I'm gonna give it to myself. I think my tone is closer. I think my pronunciation is closer. I think that Gabe needs to get wrecked, son. There we go. Five points to me, three points to Gabe so far. Let's keep going, shall we? But when we That's a lie, by the way. It's not beer. It's apple juice. Uh, I'm not going to give anyone a point there because obviously I will sound the most like myself. By the way, stream living for that on Spotify. Next one. We can't communicate. Something's got to change. Because what you need is a way to escape all the crazy commotion. Crazy commotion. Could you please find a way to display just a dress of emotion? Dress of emotion. I know we're going to be okay if you don't keep pushing me away. 
that was total lip sync. Why did you use the original mix of your song? I thought you sang in your videos, Gabe. That was so obviously layered and fixed and whatever. Wow. Great. I got the horses in the back. Horse bike is attached. Hat is mad at black. Got the bruises black to match. What was that? Did he even try? I got the horses in the back. Horse tag is attached. Head is mad at black. Got the bruises black to match. I don't get what he was doing. He was doing like an actual country version. So weird. Oh, the mustache. I mean, that is commitment. I, 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 can, I can give him that. That's, that's, that's commitment. Hat is mad at black. Got the bruises black to match. He sounds like Joe Swanson from Family Guy. It definitely doesn't sound like a little non-sex. I wouldn't say I'm doing a perfect impression, but my pronunciation is a lot closer. One more point for the roomy man. Six, three. Are you gonna catch up? Are you gonna do anything good soon, Gabe? I'm going down to end this time. I feel there's no one to save me. That was interesting. I like this under thing. That was good. I'm going under in this time. I fear there's no one to save me. I'm doing under. He's doing under. Is it under or under? I'm going under in this under. I'm going under. In I'm going under in this. I think Black Griffin's one sounds like a cartoon version of Louis Capaldi. Mine sounds a little bit closer to the original. But sometimes when you exaggerate the impressions, they do become more convincing. Under in this time, I fear this there's no one to save me. I like some of the deep notes that Gabe has here. They're really close. I'm gonna say this one is a toss-up, honestly. I'm gonna give us one point each for this one because he had great parts and almost bad parts, and I had just like good parts. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't even know like why I did that. I don't even know like why I hit that. All I know is that I just came wipe that talk to her nice so she won't fight back. Turn around, hit it from the back, back, back. Bend her down and I make a clap, clap, clap. I don't really want no friends. I don't really want no friends, no. I can hear the autotune in this. He actually did it. The mad lad went against his own principles and used autotune on an autotune artist. And I'm not even going to roast him about it. I think it's good. Well done. Gabe is sounding really good here. I think that the overall tonal quality is really good. I think it was a little bit weak on a couple things. Like, back, back, back. And now I'm, you know, overdoing it. But if you listen to the uh, original. Well, she won't fight back, turn around. It's so cool just how like that that like it's so much and I think I did that a little bit more. I don't even know like why I hit that. All I know is that I just can't wait that talk to a nice so she won't fight back. Turn around, hit it from the back, back, back. Mm. Listening back to it, I went for a little bit too much of a high tone. Like my tone is a little bit too light. I think Gabe nailed the tone better. I think this one goes to Gabe. So we have seven five to me. <laughs> Billy Eilish. So you're a tough guy. Get really rough guy, just can't get enough guy, just always so puff guy. He doesn't really sound like a female here. I feel like he's using too much helium or something. He did a little bit longer of the song, but my impression of this is good. And yours is I don't know, man. So you're a tough guy, like you're really rough guy. So I think my airiness is also more Billie Eilish. Gabe has this really actually good centered flow of air, but it's working against it with some of these impressions. That together with the helium, not a good combo, bro. I'm giving this one to myself. Holy moly, I am pulling ahead once again. Feels good, man. Just stop your crying, it's a sign of the times. We gotta get away from here. We gotta get away from here. He's singing it with like a very overly almost American accent. It's weird. Okay, let's listen to mine. Just stop. Yeah, my open ass are way closer to Harry Styles's. We gotta get away from here. We gotta get away from here. I'm also opening up the vowels on all the right places. I know because I worked really hard on that impression. Harry has this amazing singing style, I think, where he opens up the vowels a lot. So like it's gotta get away. We gotta get away from here. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I gotta say, I sound pretty good doing that as well. There's a clear winner on this one. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about Harry Styles because I like Harry Styles a lot. Another point for the dog, for me. Made this here with all the ice on in the booth. At the gate outside, when they pull up, they give me loose. That wasn't too bad, actually. I kind of like that. His outside was really good. That he, he kind of swallowed the D in the perfect way. Because he <laughs> swallowed the D, sorry. He doesn't pronounce the D in like the right way. There's many ways to kind of avoid saying the D and still make it sound like outside. I think he did really well, just like Travis here. Let's listen to mine. Make this here without the ice 
eyes on in the booth at the gate outside when they pull up they give me loose it's very very close but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna have to give this one to gabe i thought that was good his first phrase is kind of garbage but i think he made up for it in the second one but it's just a There's like a really weird dub thing or something going on here. It also sounds like they pitched down his vocal. I don't know, man. It sounds bizarre. It sounds really weird. Okay, let me listen to mine. Okay, so I think pay. He sings P. If he's right, then it's actually P. Whatever that is. I'll delete my channels. Yeah, it's pay, it's not B. But it's just a price I pay. Definitely doesn't sound like that. Gotta give it to myself once more. Got 10-6. Okay, now I'm going to attempt a Freddie Mercury impression. In Rumi's video, he tried to distract you with a cheap joke because he was too chicken to attempt Freddie Mercury. Body is good, right? I nailed it. <laughs> I did nail it though. Body or a boy, make a big noise playing That's in the good. street. Big man someday you got mud on your face your big disgrace kicking your can all over the place that's really good i do like that one i'm gonna have to give it to him i did that's only <laughs> Okay, so I think that's a final score. I mean, this is my very biased opinion. 10 versus 7. I think he had some really good ones in there. Some were close, but who's the superior man? With the video isn't over, what is he gonna do? Oh, by the way, Rumi, did you really think you could challenge me in a video and then rip up my grandpa's precious tissues without consequence? Did you think I would just... I don't know, improve on your best impressions and then not challenge you in return? Yes, you improved on seven of them. No. Have you ever done character impressions? Ah! Uh, pretty sure you never have. Time to play on my home field! Ha <laughs> ha! Still subscribed, precious. I'm coming for you. What are you talking about? I thought you also did singing impressions. That's why I challenged you. Otherwise, I challenged someone else. Whatever. Okay, guys, click here for more music reactions to things that are not Black Griffin. Things that are actually good. I mean, I'm kidding. Gabe is great as well. Check out his channel right here. He has some amazing videos. And no, I'm not doing character impressions. Why would I? <laughs> I don't have anything to prove to you, Gabe. My feud with Gabe is definitely 100% real and not a joke at all. See you tomorrow.